Hello everybody, it's your girl Connie Kenneth and welcome back to my channel. Guys, we hit 1,000 subscribers and counting and so I would like to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you guys um, who is subscribed, who's been supporting me by, you know, just by subscribing, by liking, by watching, by sharing with your friends and family and of course all the content creators who've allowed me to use their content and I am so grateful to each and every one of you guys, be it the Morkazis, Aussie the Bond Child, Wodemaya, Miss Trudy, African Traveler, Lightbulb Mormons, uh, Caroline Kamami, Stella Chanelli, I'm a governor, oh my goodness, like you guys are just amazing and um yeah, and Nappy, Niemo, my goodness, I, all of you guys, I'm sorry if I've forgotten your name, but thank you so much um, for for the love, for the support, and please keep subscribing because now we're back and we're better, and I'm so happy to be back. And I am back with a new reaction from our own Lynn Googie. So she's a Kenyan journalist, and she uh, she she actually has been um, you know the you know the presenter of Tuko where she would share stories, people would come to her and share stories, but now she's moving forward to a new part of her life, um, and I'm so, so, um, I love her so much. So I felt that it's something different from what we usually do, but I would like us to react to uh, Lynn Googie's story, so why I left Tuco and what's next, okay? So, but from what I see, she started her own channel, and to be honest with you guys, I thought that Lynn Googie, uh, the Tuco was Lynn Googie's channel because how how could it be otherwise? You know, I'm like Tuco Lynn Googie is one thing, and so just to learn that no, she was employed, I'm like it was about time for Lynn Googie to start her own channel, start, you know, having a nice bug and everything. So I'm really, really, really happy for you, Lynn Googie. And I think it's a life lesson to each and every one of us to always um, take that extra step towards our happiness, our career success, whatever the case may be, but it's important to move forward. And so let's see why she left Tuco and so what she's going to do next. So let's go. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn, Lynn Googie. Okay, I know you all know, but it's important to introduce um, myself. Um, I know this is the much awaited video right. and I have seen your questions. Of course, everyone is like, Lynn, where are you going? Lynn, unaenda wapi? Lynn, tuambie. Wow, and the support has been overwhelming. Right, and I'm not surprised because I'm telling you, I had a feeling when Lin Googie received, um, uh, when he, when you know, when she received uh, Jalango, so this is a Kenyan, a YouTuber, radio, radio presenter, and so on, um, and then Jalango received Lin Googie in turn. I felt from the interview that something was cooking, you know, and she left that interview so. Uh, pumped up like she 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 had like grown wings or something so from that point I was like hmm so when she announced it on Instagram so if you're not following me on Instagram go to my description and you know let's um let's link up on Instagram as well I was like I'm not surprised I'm not surprised at all and I'm so happy for you Lin Googie because this was the right time to go for it and you were so right to take this extra step and also at Akabla Tuanze, thank you so much Westwood for telling the owner film me a e video hapa okay. for even accepting to give me this space and you'll be seeing this space more often. Hapa ndiyo start takuwa tunafanyia show. So thank you so much Westwood. You guys you can check them out. They have amazing accommodation, restaurant, conference rooms. Just make sure you check them out. Once again, asanteni sana watu wa Westwood Hotel. Yeah. yeah. Now on to the much awaited video. Guys, I'm... Yeah, so just before she continues, I've been receiving messages. Uh, do I do promotions? Um, so if you'd like me to promote your anything that you know your business or whatever, just let's talk. Um, you know, uh, just send me an email, and you have the details. Um, you know, in the description box below. I'm a bit nervous. Wait. I'm enjoying it. Kukua na watu wapa na pale lakini we have to do this. Where are you going? 
before we get to where I'm going, I just want to say thank you so much for your overwhelming support. Honestly, I never knew. I never knew I had such an amazing, loyal fan base. I have been emotional. Ata ni mehepa ni katoka Nairobi kidogo, but I'm I'm truly grateful to each and every one of you who has held my hand mm. and for your comments, mm. your emails, at a DM, Instagram, Facebook, right. Nikingia, all I see is positive vibes. And I know it doesn't always happen. So this is not something I take mm. for granted. Mm. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I want to give glory to God. Mm. I'm always saying Yes, yes. So just before she continues, I'm telling you, and this is where you see that Lin Gugi is a very humble, God-loving person. So why humble? Because you can imagine the millions of lives that she has touched while she was in Tuco, and she had no idea of the impact that she's she actually has on people. And so that's when you realize, and that's why she was dedicated and she still is, and I believe she's. I mean, she was. She's going to continue being dedicated to her work because she she knows what is assured for today, but you don't know what's assured for tomorrow. So if you're not grounded, if you don't have um, a good environment, you know, people who surround you, it's not good. Then when you're big, then your your head grows and you you just become someone completely different and. Um, I'm so grateful that you can just tell she's a humble human being and it's so nice to see and yeah I am telling you guys um, you can imagine in what in three weeks in two weeks I guess she hit 100,000 subscribers is it three or three or four or just a month and you can imagine where she's going and she's going to hit half a million then one million and so on because she can do it and because it's Lin Googie and I'm so happy for her. Me, I'm loyal to the giver, not mm. the gift. Mm. God has been faithful. God is gracious. This journey, nilianza tu mimi na yeye. Yani likuanga tu ni mimi na mungu. And I'm glad bado tunaendelea mimi mm. na mungu. So for me, everything I do, all mm. the milestones, anything I achieve, I will always say, glory goes back to God. I never mm. want to take God's praises. He's the reason I'm sitting here mm. even talking to you. He's the reason we've been able to do amazing stuff. And he's also the reason I was in Tuko in the first place. Right. So as always, loyal to the giver, not the gift. Sinisawa, mm. I have a <laughs> And that's a very important thing. I think there's a reason as to why she's in Sis. Because I know there are some people who um, you know, like I said, every person in your life is there for a reason and some are there to teach you a lesson, some are there to build you, others are there to uplift you, others are there to break you down. But as long as it's a journey and it's okay to embrace each and every step of the journey, because be it bitter or sweet, in all cases, it's there to build you. And so I believe people are probably just throwing themselves flowers like lean if you're where you are today, it's thanks to me. I gave you, I don't know, the camera or I gave you the platform or this and that and that. But no, uh, I, I, she's right. You know, uh, you need to give thanks to the giver and not the gift. So, yeah. So I, I understand 100% where she's coming from. Let me know. What do you think? It's no surprise. I left Tuko after four years. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Nakumbuka nikiingia huko you guys you know the backstory of how I went I I joined to call my amazing friend my brother the legendary Edwin Ochieng the... Oh I hope uh you and Edwin are still good you know I hope that um there are no hard feelings you know so I hope everything is good between Lean and um connection okay. and how he has been such a destiny helper in all this. Mm -hmm. okay. So let that not bother you. I've seen those questions. Okay. So don't worry about that. But you all know the journey of how I joined Tuko and now I'm living Tuko. It's the end of the road for me and mm -hmm. the beginning of oh, another. Everyone. And I think growth is mm -hmm. inevitable right. to use. Growth right. is inevitable. 
alone, I felt like I reached a point where I needed to go out there and spread my wings and definitely uh, bring, um, I'm really personal with the content I bring. For me, it's never about money. Mm. It's never about anything. It's knowing I get the opportunity in this life to sit across people and they get to share the deepest right. stories of themselves. Exactly. Yeah. So I love what I do. I'm mm. not stopping with what I'm doing. And I just want to say thank you to Tuko for even the opportunity. Guys, we we did amazing stuff together mm -hmm. with my team. Edu, Devi, Yuka, Bebeto, Kevin Phillips, okay. Chebet. We did yeah. amazing things together. Mm -hmm. And for me, that will always be one of the most wonderful chapters of my life. Mm -hmm. And I really want to say thank you to my former boss, um, Mr. Savelli Barashkov. You guys will see him. Whenever we did the videos, he would always appear as the executive producer. Okay. That's Savelli. And I want to say thank you to that amazing human being for believing in me when mm -hmm. I joined that place. Yeah. I think I would yeah, definitely not... Sorry, I believe it's very important to... Um, you know, when someone gives you an opportunity, despite the terms of how you guys are at this particular moment because you know they invested in you um, as a person as a, a journalist they believed in you they they saw the potential in you as lean googie um and and just seeing you grow and them telling you because i've seen i met i love lean googie so i i i everything about lean googie i always go out there and watch and and her interviews and it was so nice to learn so much with the interview that uh, you did with Jalango and I feel that every step of the way those people you encountered um, built you in a way some broke you in other ways but still it's part of the growth and yes growth is inevitable and I think we should face growth we should overcome the fear because I think that for most of us that's where uh, we know that growth is inevitable, but it's extremely difficult to to take the leap of faith, you know, to say, let me quit Tuko and try my own journey and try something different. And yeah, it's just the boundary between uh, growth and, you know, and the other side of, of fear that is always very difficult. But once you take that step and then when you look back, you're like, whoa. Okay, so I was so right to to take the risk, and um, it was a great idea for you, Lean, to honestly because you are worth so much, and you still have a lot to to you know to a lot of experience to go through, and yeah, it's it's a journey, it's just the beginning, and I'm so happy, and you'll be in a in a capacity to build uh so many people in different ways without any. You know, without any limitations, if you see where I'm coming from. So, fantastic. Not be, not that I wouldn't be here, mm -hmm. but he has played such a huge role in helping me sit where I'm sitting right. because he was always the guy that would support my ideas and be like, clean, do it. Mm -hmm. Let's try. I don't remember a time where he, he, he said no. To be able, I don't even call him boss. I call him my leader because right. he was so passionate also with the kind of work mm -hmm. I was putting out. So, Mr. Savelli, thank you so much for your amazing contribution mm -hmm. in my career, in my dream, in helping in me become Lingogi. Mm -hmm. I made a joke to my friend and I said if I ever write a book, an entire chapter would be dedicated to that man because mm -hmm. he fought for my career mm -hmm. and he fought for this dream of mine and he was passionate about what I was doing. So, thank you so much. And also to mm -hmm. all other people in and outside Tuko who were also very helpful towards the journey. Mm -hmm. Mine is never to burn bridges, of course, but it's also important for you to know when you are serving a purposeful life, it's important to know where your journey ends and where another one begins. Simisawa. Right, and that's where the self, what do you call it, uh, self-evaluation throughout the different steps in life, when we start having doubts, when we start uh, looking outside, it's nice to sit down, evaluate the situation, try and adjust if there's something that you, you can change. And then if you're looking for growth and you feel you've, you know, if you feel you've done everything that you're supposed to and there's nothing, there's no more potential, then yes, I think it's time 
to move forward. And I believe many people should take example. And I'm telling you, it's so liberating to know that you took the risk. Sometimes it will go well, then, but don't give up. Just wake up and try something different. And yeah, just open the door for opportunities, for success, for love, for business, whatever the case may be, but just take the leap of faith and go for it. Yeah, so I don't want to make this video long. At it went Ivy to Rudivi. Yes, I have left Tuko. Right. And where I am going, see Bali, Niko too Hapa. You see this channel where you are watching this content from? This is the Lingugi channel. And even before I start, Juzi, we were at 40k mm, subscribers. Yeah. Waking up to almost 90k wow. subscribers for me is, wow. it's just a confirmation that I'm on the right path right. and the kind of content. I am never scared of starting from scratch. I mean, started Tuko Talks from scratch, mm. started Tales of Wanjiko from scratch, Inspire Kenya from scratch, right. and I'm never scared of starting from scratch right. because I know when God gives you a gift, mm. he takes care of you. Mm -hmm. And no one is. And when when you listen to that gift because I believe most of us what happens is, and I've said it I've said this so many times that I'm trying to teach this to my children we pray to God and we ask God God I need this you know I need a new job I need to start my business I need to I, I need you to open my eyes on something and this and this and this but the problem is most of us procrastinate a lot or the fear stops us from moving forward. So I can just, that's how I picture it. I'm like, God, it's just like saying, okay, my daughter, my son, you asked me for this. So here it is, right? But people, we tend, which is human because I mean, our brains are, are trained to, to warn us from, you know, from making a mistake or from danger, you know, it's just like a warning sign, okay? But God is just sitting there saying, listen, you asked me for this, I gave this to you. You asked me for brains, you have them, you asked me for a new job. There, There is an interview, go, it's yours. But you're like, oh, but they said I need English and I don't have English or I, they need it. But, you know, there are so many signs everywhere. God gave you life. When you touch your pulse, it's still, you know, I mean, the pulse is there, you know, and there are so many intelligent people in the graves and we do not want to be one of them. We want to leave this out, having accomplished our purpose. And, you know, when you ask God for something, then move forward, just start, just doing stuff, just try, try out things because by the end of the day, there is light at the end of the tunnel but you need to go there and every time and that's how I look at things every time I feel fear for me it's a good sign and that's how I do it I'm like it okay it's, this is something that is really scary but I have to do it because probably that's where um where my my breakthrough is you know so let me know how you deal with fear in the comment section below let's have a discussion you that's your power so for me I'm never scared about oh um, uh, sasa nitafanya nini mm -hmm. because I know who the giver of this gift is and mm -hmm. I have never double I've never double checked doubted mm -hmm. maybe probably thought that oh I can't do this I can't do this because this gift came came from Mr. Sijui Nani Nanani mm -hmm. no this gift and I want to be very intentional and deliberate wow. when I'm saying this. This gift came from God. Right. And funny thing is, there are people who will, who will always try and say, oh, if it was not me, there would not be Lingugi. No, that's wrong. Mm -hmm. If there was not God, there would not be a Lingugi. Mm -hmm. It's him and then me. He is the giver. And then yes, you're the receiver. And then God, is you cannot see him physically. So he, he has vessels. He has those people that he will use uh, to help you in a way. So, yeah, so I, I, I agree with you 100% then this is a gift. Mm -hmm. So even when people try to say at him, she wouldn't be where she is, come see, see, see. For me, that's a bit, you know, it's off. Right. Because I am where I am because God wanted me to be where I am. Mm -hmm. And 
many people you know my journey i have not been privileged enough to come from uh, a background where how to say me ni meteseka mimi sijui ni nini sasa hii dunia inaweza nionyesha yenye mimi sijaona exactly what we talk about you talk about yes i know your story and i'm like wow it's so inspiring uh, and it was so nice to see lin gogi and evelyn and eve mongai um together because those two women are you guys are uh, it's fantastic kongea tu kweli sijui ni nini dunia inaweza nionyesha sasa yenye sijai yona so if it's the strength to persevere to push on and start something again from scratch i want to do it someone special was reminding me the other day lini takuwa ngumu of course no one said that anything can be easy mm-hmm. there's nothing easy hata wewe penye unawatchia this video from mm-hmm. you are facing a couple of challenges but aliniambia kaende kaende so <laughs> this is it for me right. this is i uh, <laughs> kuna mtu kwanza aliniambia jana after nime post picture i think i'll get the screenshot for that mm-hmm. aliniambia lin please tuambie kwenye unaenda please 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 you already a public figure and once you become a public figure yeah. but you are no longer accountable to your own life and I was like Jesus yes which is very true you know when you put yourself out there you will be judged you will be challenged you will be loved you will be hated you will, but you need to have like a thick skin so uh and take um uh, and when you have like what do you call it positive criticism then you take that and yeah so of course you will so people love you lean and i believe most people were so worried that you would stop doing what you're doing and do something different and yeah people love you and so i guess that's why everyone was a little bit worried surprised i wasn't surprised i felt it coming i felt it coming so yeah i understand ndio huyu mimi sasa i am telling you yeah. exactly where i am going and where i am going is here i would never get here first if it was not the grace of god and mm-hmm. second if it was not for everyone who mm-hmm. believed in me all the people who shared their stories with me at tuko mm-hmm. i value they were not the easiest stories to handle but there were some of the most impactful stories mm-hmm. that i have ever done so i value you i i appreciate you i thank god for you thank you even for trusting me with your stories the homes have entered wow. the tea we've even had together sometimes you know the wow. people i have sat across and right. cried we are still going to do that mm. because i believe there are so many untold stories in this country that we have to um that we have to tell and we are not even we've not even started yet yes, it's just the beginning and i think what people love about lean is she she's um you can tell that the stories she's telling are genuine first of all you know because some people would say oh it's crazy no 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 not with Lynn Gugge it's people are genuine 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 people on the show and also Lynn really sensitive to their story and she can feel she has this ah oh, she would like to give them everything that they've been lacking for all these years and so that um the fact that she's compassionate that the fact that she's empathetic all those qualities that people need when they're coming to talk to her then she's got all of it so my goodness Cindy Melia on your shows I cry Nimelia so many times I'm like wow so yeah it's um you're doing a great job So all I ask you to do guys is to support me definitely by just subscribing at this channel and any other kind of support that you think right. uh you are able to offer I am saying yes so feel free to do it and also pray for this channel I I I made a joke at the end of this year this channel will have around 500k subscribers Ooh. i know it's overstretched it's far but who said we can't there right who said we can't there exactly dare? i mean lingogi if you made 100,000 subscribers in a month if not five, i i would say in a month it's not even in 6 weeks in a month then of course you will reach the 500,000 subscribers and for me for my channel if you're coming from lingogi please subscribe and let's say 5000 subscribers by the end of the year 5000 subscribers by the end of the year. and i believe it's possible and thank you guys for the continuous support and uh i i i love you all so 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 much so thank you yeah show me 
So um, all the contents that you guys, you know me for, we are going to do that in 10 times bigger. Mm. So don't be surprised that he, Lina, naenda wapi. I, I have a lot of people in my email that are like, Lina, you left without telling me, telling my story. Mm. No, we are going to do it right here right. on this channel and on this platform. Right. Sindio, I want to conclude, but before I do, one of my fans, and I'm doing this with her permission, I've received so many emails, but one of my supporters by the name Angela Mwaniki wrote mm -hmm. me a very nice email and I told her, allow me to read this when I am doing my video because I felt like the words, her words, she wrote something and then she left oh. me a poem and I felt like... Um, this is something that I really wanted to hear. So mm -hmm. doing this with Angela Mwaniki's permission, and she was like, Dear Lynn, how are you? Congratulations on the beginning of the rest of your journey. May God guide you and bless you. I began writing this email with the intention of asking you if you miss the red chairs so that I may, I may help you buy some. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I believe in Lynn uh, because she's going on a different journey. So I think the red chairs is the past so i believe maybe new ones like blue ones or white ones i don't know but the branding has to be completely different because this time it's under her name lynn googie so yeah so let me see then god reminded me that when he gives us a blank mm. canvas we need not paint the same paintings mm. we have painted in times past instead a blank canvas is a great opportunity to start something new mm. all the same please send your impressor number that i may buy you some tea yes and that is beautiful wow so god reminded me that when we give when he gives us a blank canvas we need not the not paint the same paintings we have painted in times past inside the black cover is a great opportunity to start something new what angela that's beautiful that is so so beautiful and i believe that's a mistake most of us make is you know when you do when you um when you keep doing the same things then you will have the same result you know um and so and it can be in relationships in at work maybe someone who keeps losing the job but they don't understand why but just look at the pattern are you the kind of person who's always late um who uh who is never um who is not so i mean never hands in the work on time or in relationship do you date the same type of person so if you do not look at your patterns your past patterns then you will keep repeating the same um the same thing over and over again and you'll have the same results so that makes sense right so yeah i i love it and i thought yes for lin google it's a blank canvas so which means uh, a whole new chapter a whole new book that she has to write and the tea was good thank you angela okay. so moving on to the poem this is by angela mwaniki she says here's a poem i wrote a long time ago Metamorphosis. I can feel myself come together from a fluid mass. I am taking shape. There is a hard shell around me. I sway and dance in the wind. At least that's what I think I'm doing. Now there is less fluid and more me. I cannot wait to see what I look like. It's dark in here. I can hear it. There is life out there. I am not alone. This hard shell won't let me out. I give up. I'll just grow up in here. I can feel myself changing. I am falling up. Oh my goodness. This poem makes, just remind, because I read a lot. And this poem uh, reminds me of someone who's about to give up. And so this someone um, is compared to a caterpillar. All right. So it's a story of a caterpillar who was uh, almost giving up on life and, you know, just had, was just, had just, Everything was just going wrong uh, in, in the caterpillar's life until when the caterpillar was on the edge of giving up, what happened was it transformed into this beautiful butterfly. And that was a new life for the caterpillar. So this poem, Angela, is so good. Um, and it just reminded me of a story with the caterpillar. And that's how life is. Do not give up. Most of us are giving up on the edge of success 
at the edge of a breakthrough, at the edge of beautiful things, beautiful beginnings, this and that and that. So do not give up. And this poem is boom, boom, love it. Out. I am awkward and green. Mm -hmm. I think I have too many legs on this trunk of a body. Mm -hmm. I am walking. To tell you the truth, I'm not sure how I do that. I guess the fluid in my body flows in the direction I should go. And then my many legs make it happen. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing it gives me freedom. Oh, yeah, makes me think of a caterpillar. Yeah. Absolutely. There is a lot of green pasture around me. I can see birds peek at some of my brothers and sisters. Mm. Am I next? She hides. If I come into a ball, will they see me? Or maybe I should bow into the pod. Or dare I climb that tree? If I do so, will the ants get to me before the birds? Too many options. I will just take one and go. Oh, I need yeah. to protect myself from the elements. No more prickly thorns or grass blades that cut my skin so no more wind pushing me this way when i want to go that way no more sun that burns bright to scorch and burn my skin what's the smell is that roasting meat i smell oh no i'm roasting into the heat oh. let me crawl to the nearest leaf for shade i am so hungry just a little bite of this leaf before the sun comes out again. Spin, web, spin. I had no idea that I could spin a web. I like the web that's forming around my body. It does a nice job of shielding me from the elements. I think I need more web. Yes, that's much better. It's getting big and puffy. I should be happy. I am comfortable, yet I'm beginning to feel mm -hmm. confined. I need to stop spinning the web, but I cannot. I have lost control. The web is now covering my head. I'm falling asleep. I have been asleep for a while i'm up now i need to stretch guys mm. let's do this again i have been asleep for a while i am up now i need to stretch i'm getting too big for this space my growth is causing crack in the system i have a propensity to push through as though my life depended on depended on it there goes my head now the rest of me needs to follow push i can see my brothers and sisters start to fly they look beautiful push is that the wings i am getting guys it's that oh yes oh i am getting oh one more push my goodness this is beautiful and when you look up at all those struggles that a caterpillar goes through um you know, um, almost near death, uncomfortable, um, they have to shelter from the sun, they have to, you know, and the shade and this and that, and that is you and I, that is Lin Gugi, that is anybody that you know, that is your brother, that is your sister, and that is the complete reality of how uh, life is. And I feel that, you know, when you go to a hospital um, bed and you find a patient, then if, you know, the line, the lifeline, if it's going up and down, then you know they're still breathing and they're doing well. When that line goes ding like that, you know that the person has died. So life is full of ups and downs, but the most important is to keep pushing, believe in yourself, surround with surround yourself with people who uplift you. Sometimes it's okay to say goodbye to people uh, because they're not good for your mental health or even for your growth. And do not let anybody tell you that you cannot do it and you need to go for it and you need to take that leap of faith. You need to take the risk and see your wings grow. Just push, <laughs> push and see the wings grow. Honestly, just try it bad for me. I have been asleep for a while. I am up now. Mm. I need to stretch. Yes. So, Angela Mwaniki, thank you for allowing yes. me to read your poem Love in public. It. That's just one of those emails that I get and I'm like, people care. Mm -hmm. I want to say thank you. And I also want to also encourage you. Whatever dream you are chasing, whatever career you are on, right. whatever your life purpose is. Mm -hmm. And mark you, sometimes your life purpose will force you to be alone for some time. Right. Don't give. Right. Don't choose comfort over growth. Grow. Spread your wings. Bloom. Just go out right. there. Take risks. Don't right. worry about what anyone will say. Don't worry right. about what nobody will say. This is your life right. at the end of it. Right. You go to bed and the only person you answer to is your creator. So take all the risks you need to take in this world. Right. Take all the risks that you need to take. And honestly, uh, 
just imagine yourself if you're in a position where and I think it's changed my life I remember I was at a point in my life where I was unhappy I was sad I was I felt something was missing which is those are signs that you need growth those are signs that you need to evaluate your life and so I asked myself I was reading a lot and I I saw was, um, it was a it was a question was like ask yourself one question if you were to die today here and now would you be satisfied with your life and my answer was no and I'm telling you that was like a punch in my face and I was so sad, I was down, I didn't know where to start, but it was just a realization that, girl, you need to do something and you need to change your life in whatever way uh, that you would, you want to, but you need to do it. Because in my, I was like this bird in a cage with the door open, but I didn't want to go towards my freedom, you know, it was like the fear. And then when I stepped out of that cage, when I stepped out of that cage, it was game over because you get to love yourself. You need, you need, I started taking care of myself, loving myself, being confident, uh, doing things that I wanted to do for myself, for my mental health. And it, because it's not selfish, it's, it's self care. Sometimes it's got to step out, take care of yourself, just like Lean went to, I don't know if it was Masai Mara or Savo, or whatever, but just do something, just go and make your nails, just go for a nature walk. But it's important to look, um, take care of yourself and take the risks because nothing comes out from the comfort zone. Nothing, 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 nothing. So you have to go through some pain and yeah, you will make, get there. To make something beautiful of yourself. Mm -hmm. I am honored to have sat across hundreds of you and for you guys trusting me with your stories. And I am more honored to know we are going to tell thousands and thousands of stories until one day. I always say, me, my aim in this life, nini, nini, impact one life at a time. Right. Even if my videos get one million views and only one life has been impacted, right. that for me is enough. Right. So join me on this journey. Yes. Subscribe. Let me know, guys. Let's I am a go. huge fan of feedback. Let's there go. is the email right there. Even your email, Ikohapo, feel free to write. Send me your stories so that we can start sharing them. And I can tell you next week, this channel is going to be full of content. So stay tuned. Let's see where this journey takes us. Mm -hmm. By the grace of God, through grace, by, by faith, through grace, I know God has a lot of things right. planned for us. Thank you for your patience. I was not even going to announce my family I'm leaving, but... Um, so, <laughs> the best thing uh, for you guys, the best thing for me to do is to let you guys hear it from me first. Mm -hmm. I love you, I value you, and I appreciate you. And may God bless the, your hustle. Mm -hmm. May He bless the work of your hands. And as we always say in this channel, no matter what your hustle is, just be proud of it. Mm -hmm. There is no shame in mm -hmm. hard work. So, Asante Misana, may God bless you. May He take care of you. And to Anane next week, Kwa Lingugi Show, Sinisawa. All right, love you guys. Bye. <laughs> oh, wow. That was, uh, that was beautiful. And I feel the best thing you could do uh, for your fans, for your supporters, is tell your truth, tell your side of the story, and yeah, just be open about it. And honestly, this was like a motivational talk, speech, whatever. But yeah, I, I, I love it. And I'm so passionate when it comes to personal development and self-care and self-growth and, and taking risks and getting out of the comfort zone because that's where the beauty of everything is. When you look back and see where you've come from, appreciating all those people who helped you through your journey and those who try to bring you down but they motivated you times 10 and so on and so forth so it was a beautiful beautiful sitting and thank you so much Lynn Googie keep doing what you're doing you're doing great I thought Tuko was your channel but I was wrong and I'm so happy that you started your channel because I love it and sometimes when I just want to relax I just watch you and um yeah you motivate us a lot and yeah you're one of these people who help actually pushed me to start my channel because I said I can do it as well. So guys, so thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, um, please make sure you subscribe and make sure as usual here 
you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend. Until next time, it's your girl Connie and bye.